Can you spot a privacy breach? And what are you going to do about it? Welcome, this is Jean Eaton of Information Managers, your practical privacy coach. No matter what type of industry that we work in, it is important to recognize a privacy breach. It is our responsibility to be aware of client rights and to help educate the client. It is our responsibility to keep personal information secure with the appropriate safeguards. Privacy is a business opportunity or a liability. If we take the opportunity to be proactive about privacy or privacy by design, we will build in good business practices that we will benefit from each day. Proactive privacy practices is by far the better choice. So what exactly is a privacy breach? A privacy breach is a loss, unauthorized access to or disclosure of personal information. Unfortunately, we don't have to look far to find examples of privacy breaches. Whatever the size and the scope of the privacy breach, the breach is important to the person that has been affected by that breach. It may be that the breach from your business did not start out as malicious or with the intent to harm someone, but now that the information is out there, the individual continues to be at risk. It is never our intent in our business to harm our clients. Managing a privacy breach will cost you time and money. Preventing a privacy breach is always less expensive than responding to a privacy breach. 80% of all privacy breaches are internal to the organization, providing regular training to staff regarding privacy, confidentiality, and security best practices is a good step in preventing a privacy breach. Personal information is information that is, or can be, about a specific individual. So much of our personal information is publicly available on the internet and social media and other places that as little as three pieces of information can be used to uniquely identify an individual. Even our email address can be personally identifiable or provide enough information that someone can use or social engineering to get more information or harm the individual. For example, which of these email addresses do you think is most identifying? Some of our personal information is more sensitive. We each have the right to privacy and the right to decide what information we want to share with other people. Have you ever received a phone call from your bank to tell you that your credit card information may have been stolen? This might frighten you or create doubt, inconvenience, time, and money to recover and manage the loss. If the bank catches a theft early and calls you to let you know about what they have done to stop it and prevent it from happening again, you are probably going to thank the bank for helping you to look out for your best interest. The same thing happens when you suspect that you have a privacy breach at work. You need to stop it, report it, inform the client, and let them know what you are doing now. It is never an easy phone call to make, but most of the time, the client appreciates your concern. There are three main types of information data sets in each business. They include the patient or the client information, the employee information, or the business information, including financial, intellectual property, and marketing information. Sometimes privacy breaches happen because the information is intentionally stolen to harm a specific person or for a financial gain. Sometimes the theft occurs by employees and sometimes by outsiders. Remember to make sure to address each of these types of information in your privacy management program and proactive privacy breach management. There are many different kinds of privacy breaches and they can happen in many different ways. We want to make sure that if our clients or employees become aware of a privacy breach, that they know how they can make a complaint and feel confident that the complaint will be acted upon. We need to acknowledge that we are human and that we will make mistakes. There's a difference between an honest mistake or an oops versus knowingly compromising an individual's privacy. We need to create a whistleblower practice so that people feel safe to report a problem. Most breaches are predictable and preventable. Each business needs to review their sources of personal data and anticipate where it is most likely that a privacy breach could occur. Plan to manage a sensitive personal information more carefully. Be watchful to recognize a privacy breach. We each make honest mistakes 
We each want to learn from our mistakes and do better next time. Most privacy breaches are due to negligence, where we didn't follow procedures, policies, or best practices. When a privacy breach is intentional or malicious, sanctions or consequences can happen. Often the sanctions are to the employee or the individual responsible for the privacy breach. Often the employer disciplines the employee as part of the employee's job. Sometimes, if the breach is big enough, the employee's professional college or external agencies can be involved. Sometimes the breach is more than a mistake and criminal charges for identity theft, stalking, or forgery can be involved. The employer can also be disciplined if they don't have good policies, procedures, and training in place and a malicious privacy breach happens. If your business is found liable for the privacy breach, you may face a fine or other sanctions applicable to an individual or to the business. The amount of the fine varies considerably between jurisdictions and industries. If you are not sure if you made a mistake that could result in a privacy breach, speak with your privacy officer. The sooner that we identify a problem, the sooner that we can fix it and prevent it from happening again. I would rather hear from an employee that thinks they may have made a mistake rather than read about it in the newspaper the next morning. Let's take a look at the three most common mistakes made when managing a privacy breach. The top mistake when managing a privacy breach is to ignore the breach or not recognize it. Generally, a criteria for a privacy breach happens whenever personally identifying information is lost or there's been some unauthorized access to or disclosure of that personal information. If you think that personally identifying information has been compromised at your job, or if it's been viewed or shared without permission, you first need to contain the breach. Make sure that it doesn't spread any further. Then you need to notify your privacy officer. Every time that you access personally identifying information to do part of your job, make sure that you only access the amount of information that you need and that you do, in fact, need it to complete your job. When you notify the privacy officer, you may be required to start an incident or a privacy breach report. The second most common mistake when managing a privacy breach is not notifying the individuals affected by the breach. There are a variety of requirements in different jurisdictions about notification. Generally accepted privacy practices guide us to ensure that we notify individuals that are affected about a breach. If individuals are not aware of the incident, then they can't take the steps needed to protect themselves. The breach can get bigger, broader and a greater degree of harm. Notify your privacy officer about your concerns. The privacy officer is responsible to conduct the investigation, make the appropriate report and notify the individuals when required. The next most common mistake in managing a privacy breach is don't communicate. Which is better to hear on the news? We have no comment or we believe that privacy is important. We are looking into the matter. If people have questions, this is how to contact us. We have more respect for a business that acknowledges that there has been an incident and is transparent about what the business is doing about the incident now and its plans to do better in the future. If you are not the privacy officer or the media spokesperson, it is your job to refer the media and the public who contact you about a privacy breach. Be polite. Be clear. Be firm. Your office policy might have a script for you, something like this. Thank you for your call and concern. I can take your name and contact information and bring this to our privacy officer. The privacy officer will contact you with more information. Privacy is important to the individual and to our business. We will make mistakes and we might experience an outside security threat. Be prepared. Recognize a privacy breach. Report it to your privacy officer. Rehearse your communication plan. You can manage a privacy breach when you have the right tools to help you. This is Jean Eaton, your practical privacy coach. For more tips, tools, and templates that you can use right away, see us at informationmanagers.ca. Stay tuned.